Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to do another read and run because I apparently have a slightly busier weekend than I expected. So we're just gonna see if we can maybe get some more items. We have Curse of the Blind from the get-go, Play-Doh Cookie, a Placebo, which is gonna be fun for pills if any of them are good, and uh... Yeah, I'm not too concerned. I got a good feeling. We got enough health to take devil deals, so we're definitely going for those because still need a couple of them devil deal items. That's a crooked penny. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it is very tempting. And there went the pills. I'm gonna go for a crooked penny run. That's uh, that's something I haven't done before, mostly because again, doing this whenever there's anything at stake is kind of a terrible idea at times because uh, it, it has the tendency of removing all the items in a room. Um, the, the often mentioned downside of a 50-50 chance is that it's never in your favor and uh, that's just really unfortunate and uh, that's why I tend to avoid it as much as I can. But let's see if it works out today. I mean, why not, right? It's not like... It's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if we lose. So we can actually have a little bit of fun every now and then and try some things that are perhaps not the best of ideas. Now let's see what's in our shop. There is the confessional over there, which is looking kind of interesting. Uh, it's not like I can afford anything in the shop anyway. So let's turn it. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Extra curse rooms. I was trying to get that to go to the shopkeeper. It didn't work out. A judgment card? Birthright? Uh, <laughs> so, Birthright with Eden. Uh, it drops three item pedestals from random pools. You have to pick one of them. But with Curse of the Blind, yeah. I mean, we're going <laughs> with the punching bag. Very cool. Very nice. Something's wrong. Just really fun. Um, I mean... If I could afford it, I'd just buy this birthright as well, I guess, but unfortunately, it's just not to be. Oh, well. <laughs> Excellent start. I feel blessed. Very good. It's irrelevant because we're not going to get an Angel Room or a Devil Deal on this floor. And honestly, I would have liked to avoid either one anyway because, um... Obviously, we're going for Devil Deals, but, yeah, it's okay. Now, the punching bag, I'm sure, is going to be very useful for this fight. As you can see right here. Uh, surprisingly usable, I suppose, but it's certainly going to make the run a bit more interesting in a way that I'd rather not. I <laughs> somehow managed to hit the rock, yet missed the boss, so that's cool. That's that's an exciting prospect. But that's fine. At least we got the soul heart, and that's ultimately the more important of the things that dropped from all of that, so it's all fine. Can you go for the punching bag a little bit more, though? Apparently not. A consolation prize? I'm kind of tempted. Uh, and that's tier 8, that's actually very nice. I'm kind of tempted to take the soul heart and just play the confessional a whole bunch until I only have the one soul heart. I don't know how good of an idea that is, though. But it's the idea that has popped up in my head. And honestly, when has that ever been a bad decision? Exactly. So, there you go. That was a choice that has been made by me. And that's the kind of hope that we have for this run. <laughs> I really don't expect this to go well. I feel like Crooked Penny is such a dangerous item. And it worries me to use. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. I think having two of this actually just doesn't do anything. I'm not sure if they stack at all. But I'm just going to assume it doesn't. So we're just going to take that. Uh, tempted to basically use the Crooked Penny on every Devil Deal we come across so we can save some health. But I do kind of want to take at least the first one so we don't get Angel Rooms. And of course, any Devil Deal that will have an item that I actually need, we're going to take as well. But other than that, it's just going to be Crooked Penny City, I think. I mean, I really don't have a reason not to make this Crooked Penny City. That's good enough for me. Ooh, we got an extra charge for it as well. That could be exciting. It unfortunately only works on um, 
items and uh, consumables. It doesn't work on enemies. I don't think I can turn all the enemies in a room into one coin or then duplicate all of them <laughs> if you're unlucky. That would actually be kind of a cool mechanic, though, if it worked like that. But unfortunately, or fortunately in some cases, I suppose, it does not. Oh, the punching bag is really already just ruining my day. <laughs> Oh, I truly despise this little creature because it's it makes everything so unpredictable. But it's all good. Oh my god. Alright, well, I guess we're going to just uh, all only win every day of our lives. So actually, it's, uh, it's good. <laughs> if now we need to use our Crooked Penny, we can just sacrifice some health to get the remaining charges. I think it's half a heart. Let me actually read how it works these days, because I only remember... I've not used this in so long, and I really mostly remember the old one. I think it's half a heart per charge. Let me check that out real quick. Fully recharge your because half a heart per charge. Yeah, okay, so... We can use our red hearts that we have a decent amount of to get the remaining charges, and that's obviously rather nice. Uh, we'll just go for this golden chest, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that could be interesting, because now at least we have basically a guaranteed use of it at least once, so that's kind of fun. I'm, I'm like half tempted to, if we get like a car battery, <laughs> to just get it and really ruin our day, because then it activates twice and you just have two, two chances of getting one coin, or suddenly you have four items, and that is also kind of a good deal. And I like the idea of it, but I don't think I like more than the idea. <laughs> I think it's a pretty terrible idea, but it could be kind of funny, and honestly, is that not worth it? It's gonna be down here, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. I need it more bombs. Maybe there's one for sale. I genuinely do not know. Maybe we'll get a flight in our devil deal, and we won't have to worry about it. We shall see. Baby Plum... It's a little tempting. Not to fight Baby Plum here. And I think I will indeed just wait it out here. I hope I don't get hit. Because I have lost all my soul hearts, unfortunately. But I kind of want to use Crooked Penny on the Plum Flute. Uh, depending on what's in my Devil Deal. Go, very nice. I will touch it first. Just for good measure. Uh, that's Azazel's Rage again, which we don't necessarily need, but I do feel like it worked out pretty well last time. Um, I don't need Bloody Lust. What do I need from the Devil Deal? Mega Blast, Heartbreak. It's really the only two items I still need. Mm, I will take Brimstone Bombs just for the bombs. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do that. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, cool. I will. I'm gonna go on a little adventure here. I took the brimstone bombs just to get some bombs, really. Because now. I thought I bombed this, but I don't see the scorch marks. I'm gonna try. Uh, I kinda wanna find my secret room and my super secret room. That would be lovely. I'd love to get, like, health somewhere. That's not health, that's one bomb. For the price of significantly more than one bomb, so that's not a great deal. Not getting any money from <laughs> anything. <laughs> the main reason I wanted to use Crooked Penny... Does this kill me? It does not. It puts me at half a heart. Okay. This is, this is where the real experimentation comes into play. Like, all the things that I never bothered to try because I didn't want to die, now we're going to try all the things. <laughs> uh, it could be here, it could be next to the shop. Ah. This is such a waste of bombs, but it's fine. So we could now fully charge our thing here, so that's nice. God, if it's here, that's such a mean place. God. <laughs> Such a mean place with all these rocks and things. Yeah, I can't really do anything with this. Realistically speaking, this is just a terrible idea. Yeah. There went my last of the bombs. At least we got a fully charged Crooked Penny. Which means that either we're gonna get one more coin, or we're going to get 
uh, another part of the Lord of the Flies transformation. And that is kind of nice. But because I picked up those two, I really only need one more fly item and then we should be good to go. I'm going to check out at least one of the curse rooms. It kind of depends on if there's any health inside one of them because I do not have much <laughs> to spare. <laughs> but let's see what happens here. We get two troll bombs. Very good start. And a soul heart. Nice. I guess with that in hand, we might as well go into the other one, since technically we can survive it, and that, that's good enough for me. Why not check out every curse room? Look at that! Good piece. Very cool. If only... I still have my crooked penny, because I would love to have a second guppy piece, like, uh, touched as well. Because a guppy transformation is just a pretty good way to make your run better. But a, a single Lord of the Flies item shouldn't be too impossible to find, I hope. We're gonna find out together today. This is also a room where I wouldn't actually have minded to use the Crooked Penny just because it would allow me to get a bomb. <laughs> but perhaps not worth it. Uh, right, I turned everything into nothing. That's right, that did happen at some point. Let's go! Onwards with the Crooked Penny run. I have no health. I used up all my bombs and now I'm excited to figure out how this floor is going to go. This might kill me. <laughs> this is a worry, but that's okay. We got the we got our little friend to take some of the hits sometimes maybe. Do not use your cool green creep attack on me, please. That's the one. Ah, uh, look at the punching back actually being sometimes okay in very specific circumstances. I got a red heart. It's all good. Also, we took red heart damage, so the, the devil deal has become a little bit unlikely beyond the regular fairly unlikely odds in this place already. So it's it's looking good. It's looking good. The Play-Doh cookie is occasionally actually helping out a little bit more than is perhaps obvious. Our luck is better than zero, so honestly, for Eden, that's pretty good. And also... I had not noticed that that projectile was stuck in space. I thought it was probably not going to hit me because it was, well, it was floating there. So I had a hope that it would perhaps work out in my favor. It definitely did not. And that worries me a bit since now we're back in the danger zone. And that is not a good place to be. But we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We don't need consumables or things. We got hope and spirit. I wish I had a bomb, though. <laughs> Maybe this little creature can give us a bomb or health and not a key. Really, just not a key would be ideal. The bean. Yeah, I mean, I, I was too non-specific in my request, I suppose. Ooh, that works. <laughs> yeah. The old bean strats. <laughs> Get what you want. We're gonna We're gonna walk around with this for a little bit. Because it's my only method of safety. If you all could just not do a, an attack, that would be lovely. God, the punching bag's actually helping out a lot more than I would have expected. And we got our health back, so we're in actually sort of in an okay spot now. We at least have some health again. We have the beam. Uh, that's probably better than my Isaac's head, given my consumable count. But also, I'm a little worried about many a thing. I haven't really used the bean at all for anything, and it's a little worrying that it's currently like a pretty significant portion of my damage, but it is working. It's working out. I'm gonna carry the, um, at least charge the Crooked Penny, because I, I want it to be charged. It's really the main reason. Um... <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what? Why not? With the... With <laughs> this is a terrible idea and I'm going to die. But with the double curse rooms, this does have an advantage in that I can now enter curse rooms for free. There's the downside of me definitely going to die, but the, there's the upside uh, of free curse rooms and that could be useful in my current circumstances. Health down. You've got to be kidding me. Never mind. Health up again because we were at one red heart. <laughs> Such a mess of a run already and I love it. Let's let's move on. 
I'm leaving that black heart for there for now because I kind of want to take it with me to the next floor. So my heart is going to be the thing that takes damage now. It has a charge up thing these days, uh, added in Repentance, I do believe, that sort of blasts enemies away from you. And I think it sort of tries to stay behind in the direction you're aiming. It sort of stays behind you that way, so you can move it around. It is a little bit controllable these days. Having said that, <laughs> I don't fully trust it with my life. Ah, uh, God. Oh my God, it is such a blessing this day, jeez. All right, um, obviously we're gonna take this. Um, I'm gonna do this, which might not be the best idea. But I kind of like having some heart containers to work with. I'll take the key. I'll blow up the shopkeeper, I guess. For that sweet 2.5% chance. And then on the way out, we can get ourselves a whole bunch of black heart, red hearts, and all that good stuff. Uh, I kind of need you to die here. Right. The heart. I forgot about the heart. I kind of got confused. Don't worry about it. We're fine. I'm very, very experienced with using Isaac's heart as an item. That's why I always take it when I see it. Because it's so good. That's, that's the reason we're going to have a good time here today. Alright, nice. I mean, I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite boss. I mean, if I just block all the tears, then it's not going to do anything to me. So, actually, this is perfectly safe. Look at this strat. This is called Isaac's Heart Strats. They work specifically with Isaac's Heart and no other time. <laughs> there we go. We got some extra damage. Very nice. I considered using the Crooked Penny on this, but it really would not have been a wise choice. Uh, speaking of unwise choices... I kind of want to use the Crooked Penny in the shop again. But it really would not be a very good idea. I'm also immune to spikes now. At least, uh, spikes on the floor, so that's nice. I really expected my secret room to be there. Uh, I guess it's down there then. So, yeah, there are certainly advantages to this item. It's not just bad. Isaac's heart has a use on occasion. It's just that if you're not used to playing with it, it isn't good. At least, it has been made better in Repentance. It is at least somewhat usable compared to the nightmare that it was back in the day, but still, it's still a little scary. It's still a little bit scary at times, for sure. I'm also just gonna give all these beggars some money, because quite frankly, I've blown them up so much and I need to give them a bit of an easier life. Also, I want help. Or mapping. I mean, technically that's health. And still, technically that is health. Yep, bombs, cool. I did actually need those, so <laughs> that works out as well. More health, I, I did specifically ask for health, I suppose. This is really on me. I'm gonna pick up this half a heart real quick. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. <laughs> that. Now, how long can I get away with this? That long. <laughs> it would have been funny if it worked out a lot, but unfortunately it, it did not. Uh, do that. Yeah. I mean, it's a good way to get a coin, uh, ultimately. I got a black heart waiting for me in my curse room, so we're gonna get at least one of those. There's at least two half a red hearts waiting for me as well. And all in all, it is certainly going. It is going. <laughs> this is this is what a run looks like that's going in the right path. You got the, the punching bag and Isaac's heart. And the crooked petty. <laughs> at least we have items. You know, at least at least we're sort of going somewhere. But the crooked penny is certainly. Uh, it's a scary item to use. If it works, it's incredible. If it doesn't work, you have nothing. <laughs> so, and we keep getting cursed to the blind, which is also not helping. Is this free? No. I think that was free in, in a version of Isaac, if you had Isaac's heart as well. And I guess they changed that because it was 
a bit too much, perhaps. Uh, let's do this one first. Bombs. And flies. Yep, that's fine. Pretty fly. We also have a pill pool. I mean, it's not immediately terrible so far. Hematemesis would have been nice to know about before using it, because then we could have used the, the blood donation machine a whole bunch first, but that's fair enough. Like, look, that, that charge attack from Isaac's heart is working out when it when it works. It does keep the enemies at bay fairly effectively. It's just added fear. <laughs> because suddenly you have to make sure that it's not you you're trying to keep alive. It's the little heart that's behind you. You get a little bit of practice with it in the Guardian Angel Challenge for sure. But... Realistically, that might be the only time you really use the item because it's terrifying. It's so different from trying to stay alive normally because suddenly all the dodging you're doing is replaced with let's just walk into this enemy and hope. I'm not sure how these explosions are not dealing damage to me though, but I'll take it. Uh, I mean, I should just pick it up, I guess, but... Is that...? No. I wasn't sure. I'm never sure. Some of these items... There's at least one item that's part of uh, Lord of the Flies and Spider Transformation that also has a name. But I always forget which one, and every time I see a spider item I have this brief moment of hope. But it does not always pay out. Uh, I'm gonna use my Crooked Penny here. And just get some extra money. Again, immune to spikes. So we're just gonna walk all over that. I don't really... I could use the Hangman card, I guess, if I really wanted to get this to work out. Get all the money in that room, but I don't necessarily need it right now. Plus, I'm probably just gonna use the Crooked Penny again the moment I reach the shop, so... It's all good. I need you to not attack the heart, please. I need you to, like, really only attack me, and that is a tricky thing to do. When the tears are homing, but I think they're homing on me, so that's at least something. Because unless this is greed, eh. I mean, it is on sale. I'll just buy it. Mom's purse, alright. Hmm. Cool. It's just being cool today. It's, it's a good day to be. <laughs> oh. Well, it took me to the secret room. That's a, honestly a surprising present from the game right there, but I'll take it. But I kind of want to do that again. I kind of want to just keep using the Crooked Penny in that room until it stops working, because there is a battery in there as well. And it either leads to a whole bunch of health, or it does not. But either instance is not immediately terrible. I'm not really planning on spending more money in that room anyway, so it's going to work out in a f someone's favor either way. I do kind of want to be back in that room as quickly as possible, though, because I kind of want to have that thing charged. But again, we have a way to charge our uh, Crooked Penny if we really have to, so it's not all bad. One thing that is kind of bad is that we do have Curse to the Blind, and I want to go for Devil Deals. But, I mean, what can you do? Amnesia. Cool. <laughs> just really neat. This is a neat run, is what this is. This is a run where everything's just going swimmingly. Oh my god. What is this card? Hanged Man, right? I did leave that behind. That's fine. We got a decent chunk of health out of that. I'm not too disappointed. I don't know where my... Uh, I did say I don't know where my secret room... I was about to say I don't know where my secret room is, even though we just teleported in there. But it's no longer on the map, so it's invisible to me. The moment the map disappears, so does any of knowledge that I had acquired throughout the run. In terms of layouts. I will try this though. Mostly just because I could. Decent amount of consumables out of that chest. Very nice. I have like some hunches where my super secret room could be, but none of them are like really substantial, so we're just gonna keep moving. And see if this works out. I'm hoping that this is fine. It kinda is. I guess I can just sort of keep him at bay like this. But it's not ideal. It's not ideal at all. <laughs> if I just hang out next to him like this, he doesn't seem too bad. 
Plus, sometimes it goes for the punching bag, and that's nice. Uh, I'll take whatever this is. Heals, sure. I mean, it's only one item. At the same time... I need Heartbreak and Mega Blast. I know Mega Blast is a too hard double deal. I don't know about Heartbreak, so I'm just gonna take it. Rotten Baby, not bad. I would have actually liked having two of those. <laughs> but I'll I'll take it, and I'm just gonna leave. I don't want to deal with this floor anymore. Quite frankly, it's cursed to the brim at this point, and I don't wanna I don't wanna look at it anymore. It's just not a good time. Stop! <laughs> Stop being so cursed, game. I don't like it when you do this to me. I would really prefer it. Oh. Ah, uh, you know what. Alright, cool. I mean, the nice thing is we don't have to do the challenge room at that point anymore because the coin is just not substantial enough to trigger the fight. But I wouldn't have minded that chest, I suppose. It could have been okay. But I do kind of like having the option to occasionally just use half a heart to get the remainder of my charges back if, if that's the amount it is that it needs. Just makes life a little bit easier. Nice. So many keys. I don't like, on the other hand, not having a map ever. Oh, that's scary. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is a rough room for the combination of Isaac's heart and punching bag, because these jumping enemies are just going to go everywhere. <laughs> but fortunately, they seem to play nice this time around, so it's not too bad. It's just a big worry. That's, that's the only thing it is. That's the only thing it is. At least we don't have Curse of the Blind anymore, so we got that going for us. Uh, more options doesn't do anything when it's duplicated, so I'm just going to do this. We're going to blow up a shopkeeper just for fun. I'm going to turn the entire shop into a coin, and we're just going to make our way back again. Destroy the black poop to make everyone confused. I don't know, this build's working out. It's not good, but it's working. And it does, like, stuff like this is kind of nice to be able to do with Isaac's heart as well. Like, you could just ignore the contact damage to the point where even enemies will drop creep on the floor. Doesn't matter because we are behind a rock, technically. I'd love to have flight with this. I think that would work really well. But I'd like to see it in action, I suppose. Uh -huh. uh, I will explore the rest of the floor first because, again, we can just... God, it's really nice to be able to charge Crooked Penny whenever I want. I think that's actually just really useful right now. <laughs> because I feel like it gives me a lot more options and what to do, and that's just really nice. I think this can be a secret room? Yeah. Not a great one, but it's there. Shot speed. That's exciting. But I'd like to find my item room, especially with the options that we have been given. I was feeling good about those rocks, and they gave me nothing. Terrible. Not at all what I liked. We are also just very much at the point where getting the items that we still need, the odds of it are so incredibly low. <laughs> so, at this point, it's really just a run of what can I get away with and see how long it lasts. And honestly, that's good enough for me. Let's just see if we can just make something funny happen. With a run. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I need to take this. And I need to take damage. Uh, hmm. Should I just make this a glass cannon run from now on? Because I'm kind of curious how it works. But at the same time, I don't really like the glass cannon. For the main reason uh, being that the only reason that I haven't uh, gotten the item that I want yet, which is the broken glass cannon, is because the, the damage you take, when you do take damage, is pretty bad. Also, I don't know why that enemy just died, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, I need you to, I need to take a hit of damage, but preferably not to a champ, because I don't know if that like duplicates the damage as well. Oh my god, please. Just... There we go. Alright, so that's pretty much all my soul hearts gone, but we did get the broken glass cannon from that. Which turns back into the regular glass cannon once... Oh yeah, we have trinket space, right, I forgot about that. Uh, it turns back into the, the regular glass cannon once it's fully charged. 
Uh, which I guess I could just spend half a heart to do, but I'd rather not. And now uh, we have that again, but at least that should be an extra item, I'm fairly sure. And also, actually using the glass cannon can be pretty fun. It, it does have that going for it, but the amount of damage you take when you do take damage is just humongous. So it's fairly scary, but look at the size of those tears, though. It is, it is an interesting item for sure. But very scary. <laughs> Just very scary. Bricano, sure. Uh, I'll take Lovers, actually. That just seems nice. And I think I'm just going to go back to the Crooked Penny from this point on. But you get the idea. It's it's It can be good if you don't take damage. I, I assume that on a character like the Lost or Tainted Lost, it's actually pretty much incredible. Because you just deal so much damage per shot and you need to not take damage anyway. But since we're doing a run with Isaac's Heart and uh, are just very and also punching back. There's just a lot of good reasons why we're going to take damage this day. I, uh, I'd rather not worry too much about the whole glass cannon thing, but ultimately we can put this in the list of runs that have progress and good enough for me is what I say to that. Uh, Empress card could be slightly more interesting than lovers, but also I kind of like not being dead, so there's, there's a choice to be made there for sure. It would have been nice to get like one more soul heart, I guess, as well, but eh, it was not to be. I mean, I could just destroy some more skulls and maybe get a black heart that way, but I'm, I don't like those odds very much. Super secret room is probably next to this really big room, so I'm not going to bother with it. And uh, let's just go. Loki? Could be scary, but the spiders have dealt a lot of damage, and the rock is going for the punching bag, so actually, not too bad. Oh, it's very tempting to use Crooked Penny on that, but let's see what's over here first. I mean, this is about as lukewarm as it gets, but if it does work, I could get conjoined uh, by taking this again. Mm, do I want to spend health on that? Not really. Well... <laughs> Alright, it's fine. Uh, I guess we're taking this, and this, and this, and this, and uh, this, and also this. I don't know if that does anything to have multiple of those, but we're gonna find out. We got two multidimensional babies, which doesn't do that much on its own, but the conjoined portion of it is kind of nice. Plus with Isaac's heart, it does kind of combine. I'm gonna take this real quick. And I'm gonna see... God, that gave me so much tier rate. That gave me so much tier rate, jeez. Okay. I could look for more red hearts, but I'm not interested. Does this work? Oh, no, it does not. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I wanted to know. I wanted to know. I wanted to see if that would just allow me to go in because we have Isaac's heart and... Uh, as such, I feel like that wouldn't deal damage to me, but unfortunately, I had the wrong idea. So that didn't quite work out the way I would have liked. I kind of want that... Oh, I can move the coins around with Isaac's heart as well. Huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, this is a terrible room because I don't like what that spiky rock is doing all day of its life, but I might come back to that. I don't really need the money, I guess. I guess that's a thing. Ah, oh, gosh. Ah, oh, golly. Ah, oh, jeez. I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't happen, but it did. Oop. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta trust in the crooked penny, and maybe, maybe today's the day that it's uh, kind. Yeah, this is a pretty rough room with Isaac's heart. Unless I guess I'm shooting down, maybe that? I don't know how these things work. I just want to move that coin away from where it is now. And now we're going to run past, and we're going to get it. And then we're going to get it like this. I could... Can I just push this into a place where it can't get back to where it's meant to be anymore? Uh, something's dying. I don't know. Uh, what was dying there? <laughs> God. Okay. This is not the way to do this. 
I think I, I would I, I think if I can get it like here in between these two rocks, we'd pretty much be good, but it's a tricky thing to do to say the least. God, that does not work the way I want it to. I'm done with that room. <laughs> I'm, I'm just done with it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Quite frankly, it's gone wrong many times and I don't wanna I don't wanna look at it anymore. Who's alive? Oh a ghost. Jeez, I didn't even know there were ghosts in this room. That's all good, but jeez, please be kinder this day. This, this this floor is not going great. At least we still have that lover's card if we really need the health. But God, I would really appreciate it if we don't. I need to stop taking damage as well. This is... It's falling apart. It's it's all falling apart is what's happening here. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I mean, that's on me. I trusted too much in the Crooked of the Pennies. And ultimately that will probably most certainly lead to my demise if I trusted with everything in life, but... Occasionally it helps and that's good enough for me. Come on. I'm surprised I didn't take damage there, but I'll take it. Spin the win or sack of pennies, those are both certainly items. But they're not quite what I'm looking for right now. Having said that, I kind of want to use a crooked penny in that room. <laughs> I want to see if we can just get a whole bunch of sacks, but let's see what's over here first. Blank card. All right. Truthfully, I had I had a dream that that was going to just give me a bunch of soul hearts. The blind card I'm not super interested in. But, you know, maybe it could have it worked out. I didn't really, I guess I didn't really care that much. I mean, the soul heart would have been nice, but simultaneously our devil deal chances for the remainder of this floor are pretty terrible anyway. So it doesn't matter too much, but it certainly, it probably would have helped. <laughs> But at the same time, I'm not really too concerned. I think uh, the Soul Heart definitely would have gotten destroyed by the time we reached anything of relevance anyway. Um, I could blow them up for like decent Devil Deal chances, but could, to be fair, they're not going to get that great now, are they? They're going to get adequate at best, and honestly, I need something a little bit better than that with the shenanigans that we have pulled off so far. So... Hopefully we can get this to work. We already got half a heart, so that's nice. Come on. Just one item pedestal for my troubles, please. Please. <laughs> oh my god, this, this little creature is filled with consumables. To the point where I'm questioning if it even has an item, but... This is sort of incredible. Oh, that's probably what died to those spiky rocks. That makes sense. Hey, look at that. That's nice. There was something about these shades. It's a shame it only makes one, even though I have three of them. <laughs> even though I have three of the item. I'd love to get a little more. But I recall there was something about being to, like, absorb them. And I, I know I've said that before in a different run. And of course I haven't looked into it any further than just saying that statement. So there is that. But, yeah, there was something about that. Also, I would have liked the blue map somewhere in this run, because I know we have two secret rooms on this floor, and quite frankly, uh, I got some ideas where they could be. But I also have only so many bombs. And then you got secret rooms like this where everything is just exploding all the time, so that's not good. I need something a little bit better than that. But there might be one over here as well. Please don't be mean. Those statues are just so precarious with... Um, with what we got going on with uh, Isaac's heart. I don't really know how to dodge them at all when Isaac's heart is involved. Also, two secret rooms because of my trinket, in case that was not obvious, which it might not have been. Now, if we can get a flight somehow... There is a tinted rock there. That also kind of works, I suppose. There we go. Uh, there was a hangman card in this run somewhere, but I have dropped it. 
And I think I dropped it on the previous floor, so so much for that idea, unfortunately. But hey, we got a soul heart out of it, thanks to the Crooked Penny. Uh, I did indeed forget to use the Crooked Penny on this. Could have used the Lover's card and charged up my item and all that. I did not. I got one soul heart, and quite frankly, that is going to carry us to victory. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I guess I haven't actually made a choice on where this run is going to end. Ah, which is on me. I was hoping the leg would come, or the arm would come out if I did this a lot. But instead, it doesn't really seem to happen. That's okay. Um, I'll go to the lamb. I'll take a lamb run. I don't really have... I don't really need Polaroid is more the thing. This run kind of needs to like survive at least a little bit. I, I hope, and I think the way to do that is by going to the lamb and having that extra damage, because Polaroid's never going to activate. So hopefully this is going to work out. Just need to make sure that Isaac's heart is kept safe. Let's pretend this is the Guardian Angel challenge, because it's almost the same, except that Isaac's heart is not chasing the punching bag around. <laughs> but other than that, it is effectively identical. Uh, yeah, that's on me. I had to. I, I really wanted it to uh, to work out, but it it just did not. The downside of this trinket that adds another secret room is that you basically want to bomb every single wall that even looks like remotely plausible, <laughs> and that is not always going to work out the way that you want because there's so many walls, especially in the womb. This is pretty nice. Permit. I'd rather have the lover's card. I mean, teleportation is kind of nice, but... I guess I can also take, like, the spike chest for free now as well, so that's kind of cool. Amnesia. Full health. Not a bad pill. I do specifically like the combination of extra curse rooms plus Isaac's heart, at least, because you can just go into all of them for free, and that can be useful. Adding the Crooked Penny to that equation, maybe not as good, but that's more just a me thing because I pressed the button when I shouldn't. Because, uh, at the same time, like, I could have just opened the chest and if there was an item inside it, or soul hearts or something I wanted to actually duplicate, it would have the same effect <laughs> for the most part, I think. Like, you wouldn't get the same item, I think, from the second chest, but it certainly would have been not, not a terrible idea. I really don't know how to keep Isaac's heart alive. <laughs> it's so bad. It's <laughs> such a bad item. Even with the improvements, it's still not very good if you're not used to it. And lo and behold, I am someone who does not play with this item very frequently. Except when I'm having a giggle, as they say. So, hopefully today it's gonna work out, but I am not having high hopes. I don't know if I can use the Sacrifice Room with this, actually. Maybe if I get the heart over the thing, but I'm genuinely not 100% sure. This trinket does nothing for me. That is Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting. I might actually use that at the end of the floor. Just to see if we can get, like, uh, a complete build reroll. Just a little curious. Uh, that's cool. I mean, it's even filled with, uh, I need you to not be in this room. One moment. Part of me wants to use Crooked Penny on it. And, uh, that was a poor choice. Because <laughs> uh, the nice thing about Crooked Penny with Black Rune is that you do get extra status, but the downside is when it doesn't work is that you lose the item and you get nothing. So, really, I need to stop using the Crooked Penny on this floor because clearly it's cursed, but I kind of don't want to. Speaking of don't want to, it doesn't seem like this floor has an end. It's uh, actually infinite, and that is unfortunate. Because I was hoping that this run would end at some point, but it doesn't look like it ever will, which uh, is a little worrying. But hey, at least we got a lot of money, so we got that going for us. But yeah, bad floor layout, unfortunately. Oh god, yep. Instantly, the moment one of those statues appears, I just panic because I don't know how to keep 
Isaac's heart away from it unless I really actively try. There's just so many of those statues in a run. You don't realize how many of those statues there are until you suddenly have to dodge them differently. <laughs> and it all just falls apart in a glorious fashion. There we go. Ooh. Not bad. And everything up. My face uh, is pretty much the same because of all the other items that I have, but still, usually it would make a funny face as well, so that's my. Just imagine it's there. Probably should have used Crooked Penny on the sausage, to be fair, but you know what? It's all good. <laughs> Let's hopefully just not take damage here. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine. We got a devil deal. Everything's okay. I'll come back to you. Ah, I don't really want to spend health on that, but I'll I'll give this a shot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not working. This floor is cursed with this thing. Jeez. I just need you to work a little bit, and instead you're not working even slightly. And it's unfortunate, but We'll see. It might work for the meat cube. Do I care if it works for the meat cube? Not really. But at the same time, it would be kind of funny if we could just get a whole meat boy. With two uses of the crooked penny. I feel like I'm asking for a lot right now, but if it does work, it would be kind of cool. So consider that, you know? Consider my thought process. It's terrible, but it would be kind of cool if it worked. And those are the odds I I live for, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Ace of Spades. Nah. I got plenty of keys. Uh, the other secret room. It might be here. I don't think a secret room can be next to another secret room, and I'm genuinely not 100% sure. I know it can't be next to a super secret room. Also, I already found two of my secret rooms. I'm looking for a super secret room. So, never mind. Never mind. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, take that. Yeah, okay. That was it was a lot. It was <laughs> It was asking for winning two coin flips effectively, so I can see how that didn't work out quite the way I know we would have liked, but... You know... I can dream. I should just use the black rune on the two of anything, really, but you know what? We're good, we're good, we're good. Mayhaps we can... do something cool here. We have rock bottom. We have scythes. We have... Uh, we still have trinket space, <laughs> surprisingly enough. We have full mapping. Uh, we have Bumbo, that's cool. We have stopwatch, we have bomb immunity. Jeez, this build is ridiculous. Comparatively, at least. We, we have compass and blue map, oh my god. That's two rock bottoms as well, just in like a pretty short span of time. Like, wow, okay. Yeah, I'd say this was... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Can I not bomb? Oh my god. Uh, and I guess we have the thing that allows us to carry two cards, I'm guessing? Yeah. Temperance, Lovers, Awas. Awas. Oh my god, this went from Crooked Penny Run to just here's a god build. I mean, it's not like super powerful at this particular moment, but... It certainly has the potential of being incredible. So that's kind of neat. It's a shame we lost the Crooked Penny to it, but honestly, I'll take that. I'll I'll happily take that. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Hermit turns pick up... I don't have a use for that anymore. All right, let's go. This suddenly became a completely different run because I rerolled my entire build. Isaac's heart is gone. Uh, we have two little friends throwing little scythes at the enemies. The fact that we got the blue map, but still have the trinkets for the secret room is kind of incredible, because that can just lead to a lot of good stuff. 
Still have a couple of these little shade friends. I think they had to like kill enough enemies and then you could do something. I don't know. It's irrelevant. I'm gonna see if we can get one more devil deal. And stopwatch as well. God, this build actually. <laughs> this build's actually so good. Uh, we still got the, the negative as well because it doesn't re roll that, so that's nice. But yeah, I'm not too disappointed. I'm not too disappointed by the choice that I made. Also, I, I take contact damage now, so I do need to at, at least be a little careful of that. Rather than just running into the enemy. Oh my god, I need to like switch my brain over to this new build entirely, because suddenly I have to play the game entirely different. But that's fine, it's gonna work out, I'm sure. There's greed. I need to not run towards the enemy, oh my god. This is, it's so ingrained in my system now. I'm just running at enemies instantly and it's not a good idea. Uh, that's a pretty fly. Algis, that's pretty good. And we could just make a big one because I'm immune to bombs. What's that? Joker, cool. Let's just drop that down. But yeah, I'm just gonna drop a whole bunch of coins behind and create a big Bumbo because the, the main danger of Bumbo is that he drops bombs behind you. But he's not gonna do that because or well, at least he's not going to do that in a way that worries me, because uh, I'm immune to bombs because of my cool little helmet. That's nice. Uh, Wheel of Fun. <laughs> I mean, it's a bad idea, but at the same time, I'm a, I'm a little tempted. I'm a little tempted. Ooh. Emperor. Upside down. We could fight a cool little boss here. Let's just do that. Mama Gertie? I mean, that's a little worrying. But not necessarily too bad. The spikes are particularly worrisome, but died pretty quickly. Not great. I mean, we already picked up Mom's heals once in this run, so fair enough, I suppose. I do need to be a little careful, because I think I'm no longer... I don't have any more soul hearts, I'm fairly sure. I have four red hearts, I think, is my current health situation, and that concerns me a little. Also, maybe I should go in the direction of where I actually have to go, I suppose, but... Who thinks that is a good idea, am I right? It's not like I have mapping for a reason. I have mapping just for the aesthetics. I don't need to know where to go. I always know where to go, in spirit. There we go. That's nice. I'd also like to see what's in this thing right here. Uh, was there a shopkeeper? Well, there's one here. <laughs> I was gonna ask, is there a shopkeeper that could still blow up? But I guess I can blow up this one. I wonder if it retains that I picked up Guppy's head after that Wheel of Fortune thing. Because it would be nice if I could just become Guppy after one more thing. That would be neat. There we go. I also should have just let Bumbo pick up the coins, I suppose, but... I don't make us good decisions. Let's throw a bomb in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sad bombs are really neat. I like sad bombs. They work very well. Sad bombs can absolutely decimate some enemies. And, uh, yeah, that was no exception there. Oh, uh, that's a troll bomb, but also two coins. Come on, Bumbo. Look at him. He's huge. Very nice. Wheel of Fortune. Blow that up for another. I still have like the thought in my head that I have to keep the. Uh, <laughs> that I have to keep Isaac's heart safe, and it is messing with me more than I can explain. It is genuinely so confusing to me right now. I'm gonna go here. Alright. Uh, I don't really care about any of this. So, well, this could be interesting actually. 33% chance for no room clear award. Really? Huh. I did not know that was added. <laughs> I had no idea. That has changed my mind. Uh, also, this gives me a range up. Which I should do because I have rock bottom. So I, that's just a forever range up, which is actually kind of nice. Bumbo dropped the bomb. Very good. Bumbo's helping. In the only way Bumbo can. We also have Lusty Blood, so that's why my damage is pretty good right now. Just the moment I killed enough enemies in one room, that damage is going to stay there again because of Rock Bottom, and it's amazing. 
Is there any other reason why I want to explore the rest of this floor? I mean, I guess... If there's enough hearts on the floor, I could try that demon beggar, but at the same time, I really don't fully know what my health currently is. <laughs> but there is a lot of hearts here. Um, but I do take a full heart of damage each time. There is enough here for me to touch it twice. Then go back to there and, and pretty much stay on full health that way, I think. So we could at least get one drop from it. There's a lot of red hearts on this floor, jeez. Um, I'm also not sure... I have no money, right. I'm also not sure if it retains your touches of the plum flute. And if I could get Lord of the Flies by getting Skatole from this game. I was about to be very happy to find out, but then we lost. <laughs> uh, it would be cool if we could get it, or at least know how it works. I'm just genuinely curious at this point. That's more the thing. Ah, let's do this. Also, we have Guppy's hairball. <laughs> I didn't even really realize that, but we do. All right, uh, let's just make sure. Yes, full health. I think I could touch it three times, right? I, uh, I don't know what fully what my health is. It really is quite scary. Uh, my tier rate and my range went up when that happened. Am I Horror of Babylon right now? I don't think so. But I guess... I can use the Horror of Babylon as an indicator of what my health is. I hadn't actually really considered that as an option. But that should also give me a permanent speed up because of Rock Bomb. Okay, there we go. Well, it gave me a speed up, yeah. Uh, I guess I need to actually clear a room a little bit to get the damage up as well. A room with enough enemies. I was kind of hoping this big room would do the trick, but unfortunately... It's not filled to the brim with enemies! I need a better big room, or just a room with enemies, really. I, th I don't really know how many enemies I need. Is it like 10? It's a decent amount for sure. This might work, just because they blow up into different chunks. All right, maybe my damage is just good. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's go pick up some more red hearts here. And then I think I only have to get hit one more time before the heart beggar is going to pay out, right? Yeah. Nice. Magician again. In case I want that range up again. Which I'm not sure what gave me the range up to begin with. Do I have panic? I don't know. Something made my range go up and I genuinely... Oh, was it the, the crown? Oh, yeah, I have the Dark Prince's crown, and... Right, because my health was exactly one red heart. Oh, I guess I could have used that as an indicator as well, what my health was. Ay, ay, ay. I have genuinely, like... I have separate indicators for being at one red heart and half a red heart, and I did not make that connection at all. There you go. With that information, we're just gonna move on to the next floor. It's been good. Where are we going? We're going up. How long? 53 minutes! Oh my god, I have I did not really pay attention to the time. I've just sort of been going this run. I have not really been actively present during this run, admittedly. Oh jeez. Yeah, that, that, that's up. Uh, at least with stopwatch, this room is less scary. And yet I panicked consistently the entire time. So that's nice. Oh, I was hoping for the best shortcut in the game. Instead, it's only adequate. It's actually still a very good shortcut. It's still at least an extra room, you know? At least I can appreciate that, but still... A little disappointed. Uh, I've got some friends. I could go for this. I don't really need the money anymore. Even though, it's, I think this is a golden trinket, is it? It's hard to tell. I mean, it is... Yeah, it's gold. I don't think it's doing anything, but it's gold. That's nice. Emperor, tower... The moon... Don't really care, but still, it's there. Curious what kind of cool devil deals we're gonna get on the next floor. I'm excited. 
Yeah, drop those bombs, Bumbo. Oh my god, he's so good. Bumbo's great when he doesn't blow you up. Specifically in that scenario. He's, I mean, he's trying. <laughs> he's doing his best. You know, I can appreciate him for trying. Come on. Come on, legs. That's right. Didn't even really spawn anything. That's surprising. All right. We are in a perfect health situation. Rock bottom once again, saving the day. So that's lovely. Curse of the Lost. Cool. I hate seeing. Um, genuinely not terrible devil deals. Ooh, that might be conjoined again. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to take this. Oh. We're gonna go full that, and then we didn't really get anything because of rock bottom, right? Uh, eh, we'll see if it works out. If we kill enough enemies in one room, we might end up with a little bit of a damage boost again, thanks to all the stuff we got going on. In hindsight, maybe I should have stayed at one red heart, but oh well, it's fine. At least I can see my health. It's a shame I can't see my map, but what can you do? I'll probably save the Wheel of Fortune card until we're done with the floor. And yeah, I'm getting some damage ups, at least, from Lusty Blood. It just needs to be a room with enough enemies inside it. I don't like this. Who's here? Okay, that's actually good. This is exactly the kind of room I need is for Lusty Blood to give me that damage up. It's not a whole lot, but it's something. So that's fine. I would like to see a couple chests before I use this Wheel of Fortune, though. It would be nice if it is one more build reroll, because at least there's like a chance that we might get one more item. It would also be nice if we just get a 5 that re that basically just restarts the floor. That would be really nice. Hierophant card is really cool to just get willy-nilly. Very nice. Suddenly we're at a health situation. Bumbo, I think, can drop chests, but I'm not 100% sure. I might be just thinking of the uh, standard beggars, I suppose, but we'll see. Invincible skeleton, very cool. That could be interesting with Guppy's Paw if we're going for Delirium. Uh, but also, if we... Maybe if we use the, the Wheel of Fortune card, the upside down one, and it restarts the floor, it might give me a red heart container, and that could end up being good. Oh, Bumbo, you beautiful creature. Just dropping bombs when it's necessary. It's actually been very good at not blowing me up and actually trying to blow up enemies, which is not what I'm used to from Bumbo. So I appreciate that. I believe. My god. <laughs> Yeah, that also works, I suppose. Oh, never mind, it wasn't real. I'm a bit confused about how that chest even opened, because it... I shot at it. Was it a haunted chest? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that looked real confusing. I may actually just rewatch that later, because I genuinely don't fully understand what happened there. And I'm a little lost. Come on. Also, uh, Mom's contact is just decimating everything. It's lovely. Um, I mean, I think my tier is probably going to just stick like this, so... Oh, actually, uh, this seems pretty good. <laughs> this pretty much just tripled my damage, which is, uh... Not too bad, not too shabby. Thank you, Rock Bottom, you're a wonderful item. If we could get Quad Shot as well, we could just shoot a million tiers, that would be lovely. I'd actually really like, uh... The Tractor Beam right now, I think that could be kind of fun. What also would be fun if I could uh, get one chest drop. <laughs> That'd be neat. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate it. A key. But it's okay. We're just gonna see what we get. We're gonna be thankful for whatever it is. And it's gonna be a good time. At the end of the day, this crooked penny turned into a whatever run this is run. Did get the broken glass cannon. And at the end of the day, it's at least one extra item. So, honestly, and it's also one that's kind of tedious to get, because it can very easily kill you if you do it wrong. So I, I do at least kind of appreciate it. I'm keeping algae in case uh, we do go to delirium. 
Because I think this is not a terrible idea. Nope. Okay, no delirium. That's okay. It's a little disappointed, admittedly, but fine. We did get a new build. It is not as good as it once was. It does have the backpack, which is neat. My movement speed is pretty terrible. Uh, we do have the whole empty soul thing or whatever, whatever it's called. Apparently we have pay to play or pound of flesh. I think that's the one. I did reroll my build. I don't think it gave me an item I still needed. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? Yeah, I'm just checking in the background while I'm just walking in a random direction, hoping to accidentally come across a room that I haven't explored yet. Uh, but I think, yeah, it does appear to just be a bunch of stuff that I have no real use for. Which is a shame, but, eh, again, broken glass cannon. I got what I wanted, which is an item at all, and I am appreciative of that. There is some room still left. Hey, look at that. And with, uh, oh, right. We have a uh, binge eater, so that happened. Which I do need to be careful of if we do actually get an item that I want and still need. Uh, and something's making farts happen. Dumpy's there, I guess, so that's, that's cool. My damage is still pretty high. I mean, it is obviously raised a little bit because of uh, binge eater presently. Temporary damage, but even without that, it seems pretty good. I don't know. Just had some really good build rerolls today. It's nice. I don't know where my other secret room is, and I really am not very tempted to look because without a map, that's just miserable. So, with that in mind, I am going to bomb this just for fun. I was hoping for a super secret room. Didn't work out. Uh, this maybe then? No. Maybe here? I don't know. <laughs> Got 31 bombs, but honestly, I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. So, oh, we had holy mantles. Oh, we had blanket, right, that makes sense. All right. Twas a run. A run with Eden has been had. Our item count is 713 because of that broken glass cannon should show up. Uh, where was it? Like here somewhere? There it is. You broke it. There you go. <laughs> That's what we accomplished today. We finally managed to break the glass cannon after all this time. And it only took ages. And that's nice. Hope you all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.